Okay, the first part of this video is going to be how to create um, a custom paint color. So what we're first going to do is go to the manage button and go to materials. And we want to add in um, a new paint to this, um, this library, basically. So what we want to do is type in the word paint. And if you remember in class, we talked about in Revit, you always want to use the material that's closest to what you're trying to create. So in this case, in the template that I have, this is the only paint options. Depending on if you have a different template, you might have blue in here. There's a like a generic blue but the kind of default is this parking stripe yellow it literally is the yellow that you paint on the middle of a street but it's paint so we can use that and customize it um, but what we want to do is right click and hit duplicate and then we're going to rename this i try to get into the um, habit of renaming it paint so again i always can find it pretty easily um, in my case it's going to be a sherwin williams and now what we're going to do is we're going to tab over to here let's see so this color i picked out because it's going to be really easy to see this on the screen um, the other nice thing with sherwin williams um, i went and looked up benjamin Moore that it's hard to find this information but with Sherwin Williams, if you click on this details button, you get the RGB colors and the hex value. So what you want to do is either have the screen up or write three, three numbers down, and that's going to give you um, the coding basically to get exactly the color you want. So go ahead and take a minute and do that, and I'm going to show you how we're going to enter them. Okay, now over here in Revit, one of the things we want to do is before we create a new paint, oh, and I got to actually rename this quick. So this one's going to be um, Sherwin Williams and mine is going to be Passionate Purple. All right, and again, you can do this with whatever colors you want. And remember the nice thing about Sherwin Williams is you can get these coordinating colors. So you can look up those hex tags too. All right, so back here to Revit. Before I do anything else, I want to click this little white button. That's going to duplicate this asset, meaning it's not going to overwrite the yellow that's already there if you overwrite it by mistake it's we can fix it it's not the end of the world this gets more tricky if you by mistake overwrite say something like a hardwood pattern or concrete or something that you're using from revit and you like the original but you're tweaking a new one so pain is not super critical but i'll try to remind everybody to do this i forget to do this too because again it's pretty subtle it's just this little white box all right so now what we do is we click on the color and what we want to do is overwrite these um, RGB colors right now. So what mine is 121, 84, and 132. And now you can see now it's the purple. So it's basically there. It's the original yellow. Now it's we're going to be creating this purple for us then we want to work through this list here depending on your material there's going to be other options in here but for paint we have these two options so we have what finish we want it in flat and matte generally are your ceiling paints these three right here work perfectly well on walls semi gloss gloss and gloss are often um again they're paints that can take a lot more kind of abuse so to speak so you'd sometimes paint them in like on furniture or molding of doors and things like that so for our purposes we're going to pick eggshell uh, we don't want it applied by a brush because that's going to show brush lines we want it nice and smooth so we want a roller if you see there's also spray paint that's often going to be used on a metal application but we're going for now we're going to have roller now before we go anywhere else we also want to click this graphics button and see what's happening it hasn't uh overwritten the yellow in terms of when it renders it which is you know the whole purpose is we want this to render nicely so we're going to click that box right there it's going to swap it out now it's going to render purple for us so then we say apply and okay and i'm going to do a second one too so you can follow along or kind of jump ahead if you want but we're going to click materials here and same thing again so this time i can use the purple as my my base one to work from because it's got these finishes that I like. So I'm going to right click and say duplicate. In my case, I picked one of the um, uh, like coordinating colors. So I'm going to rename it. Let's see if it let me there. All right. So it's SW and this one is Gossamer uh, Vex, I think by, I forget. Sorry. All right. So there it is there. So again, I don't want to overwrite the purple I just made. So now I'm going to click duplicate asset. And I'm going to click on the purple. And this time, my RGB values are 211 and then 206. And this will be like a tan. Um, and then 196. All right. And there's that tan. OK. And then again, I want to double check on the graphics. And since I've already clicked it on the last one, it saved that for me. So there's the two colors I want. So I say apply and OK. 
Now I'm set to start painting in here. So I'm going to pause and then create a new video just so you can follow along at your own pace too.